Experiment number two, efficiency of steam distillation. Aim of experiment is to calculate the efficiency of steam distillation. For this experiment requirements are conical flask, round bottom flask, graduated cylinders, condenser, thermometer, capillary tube, boiling stone, heating mantle, etc. Then reference a practical book of pharmaceutical engineering by Dr. Suresh Sudhike, Nirali Prakashan, first edition, page number 2.1 to 2.4. Then we will see the principle. Distillation is a technique in which separation of liquid substances from their mixture by process of selective boiling and followed by condensation at a different conditions. Distillation may result into complete separation of pure substances from mixture. There are different types of distillation technique which include simple distillation, steam distillation, fractional distillation, distillation under reduced pressure, destructive distillation, etc. Steam distillation is more preferable technique because of their advantages. Steam distillation is a method in which volatile components are separated from non-volatile impurities with the help of steam. This technique is used for separation of heat sensitive substances such as aromatic compounds which are obtained from natural source it may separate the substances in their purest form. As in steam distillation, one of the liquid used in mixture is the water, therefore it is also called as co-distillation. Various organic substances lead to degradation on elevated and delayed temperature exposure. The separation of these substances may not be possible using simple distillation technique and therefore steam or water is added to the distillation assembly. When there is addition of water or steam into substances, the boiling point of the substances get depressed. It promotes the evaporation of those substances at low temperature preferably below degradation temperature of the material and which is advantageous. Usually we will get organic and aqueous phase after distillation which can separated by using separating funnel. When two immiscible solvents are heated together with occasional shaking, each component of the mixture applies its own vapor pressure at that temperature. This results into increase in the vapor pressure of the system. The boiling starts when the total partial pressure of the two immiscible solvents equal to the atmospheric pressure. Here steam distillation unit is represented which consists of a steam generator which is connected to the uh, RBF containing the mixture then RVF is connected to the condenser and finally receiver is there means in, with the help of steam generator steam is created which is used as a source of heat then steam is entered into the mixture then that mixture of component and water boils preferably at low boiling point and condense it into the condenser and finally the mixture is collected into the receiver. Then procedure of this experiment measure 20 ml of turpentine oil and purified water add to the RBF along with few boiling stones heat the mixture so that it prevents condensation of water vapors fill the steam generator with water connect the flask to which a condenser on one side and steam generator on the other side adjust the round bottom flask in slanting position the vapors of turpentine water mixture condense in the water condenser collect the distillate into a receiver separate both phases using separating funnel measure the volume of water and turpentine phase and finally calculate the efficiency of steam distillation here some observations for today's experiment is given which include boiling point of mixture then partial vapor pressure of water and turpentine at boiling point of mixture molecular weight of turpentine and water density of turpentine and water volume of turpentine and water obtained 
after distillation. These observations also we discuss in the calculation part. Now we move toward the calculation part. Uh, first observation is a boiling point of mixture that is 95.6 degrees Celsius. Boiling point of pure water is 100 degrees Celsius and boiling point of pure turpentine is 160 degrees Celsius. But when we mix the water and turpentine then boiling point get depressed and we observe boiling point of mixture is 95.6 degrees Celsius. Second partial vapor pressure of water at 95.6 degrees Celsius is 647 mm of EHG which is denoted with P2 then partial vapor pressure of turpentine at 95.6 degree Celsius which is denoted that P1 is 113 mm of EHG molecular weight of turpentine M1 is 136.2 grams molecular weight of water M2 is 18 grams then density of turpentine that is D1 is 0.86 gram per ml density of water that is D2 is 1 gram per ml then volume of turpentine obtained after distillation that is V1 is equal to 10 ml volume of water obtained after distillation that is V2 is 8 ml by using these observations we will calculate the efficiency it requires Two things that is theoretical yield and practical yield firstly we will see how theoretical yield is calculated formula for it is p1 into m1 upon p2 into m2 p1 is partial vapor pressure of turpentine and m1 be the molecular weight of turpentine and p2 and m1 to m2 these are the parameters for water then by putting the values of partial vapor pressure and molecular weights for turpentine and water into the equation we will determine the theoretical yield and it becomes 1.32 then we move toward the second thing that is practical yield simply it is the ratio of weights of two components that is turpentine and water equation becomes d1 into v1 upon d2 into v2 d be the density v be the volume by putting the observations into the equation we will determine the practical yield and value is 1.07 then lastly we will determine the percent efficiency of steam distillation equation is practical yield upon theoretical yield into 100 uh, values of practical yield is 1.07 and for theoretical yield 1.32 put the values into the equation and finally we will determine the percent efficiency and for this above observations percent efficiency of distillation becomes 81.43% result is the percent efficiency of steam distillation for turpentine was found to be 81.43 percent and conclusion the efficiency of steam distillation is determined successfully thank you